All right, welcome back. They are some of the largest animals ever to roam the earth, and the enormous creatures are back at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Scientists have been making discoveries in the Jurassic Mile. Now, all of their hard work is about to pay off. The fossils they found will soon be on display in the new and improved Dinosphere exhibit. So, joining us now live with everything you need to know is Monica Ramsey. She's the director of exhibits at the Children's Museum. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. Yeah, so this is so exciting. Giants of the Jurassic. Now, I know some of the fossils come from the dino dig that our very own Amber Hardwick was on in Wyoming. Tell us all about this. Yeah, well, we're excited for Amber and families to come back and see what we've been working on for several years. So the giants of the Jurassic feature two sauropods from that dig, and the monsters of the Mesozoic also feature a large marine reptile with eyes that were like as big as dinner plates. Um, that's also from our dig. So we have so many new things to share when, uh, when families come out and see their old favorites too, our T-Rexes and Triceratops, of course. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you just mentioned there the monster, the Mesozoic. Sea creatures have eyes the size of dinner plates. What are some of the other things families can expect if they're heading out there? Well, we talk about the Jurassic period in addition to the Cretaceous animals that have been in Dinosphere since 2004. And so we have a sound and light show that talks about how big these dinosaurs got and why we think they got so big. I mean, these animals are 65 feet long plus, and we've got wow. two of them, um, you know, in the scene that we've created that takes you into the Jurassic. You step across that threshold and you're right there. And of course, you can expect to see interactives, our programming from amazing staff um, on the floor and you get to go and talk to the paleontologists who are at the dig continuing as well to uh, prep more fossils we have a lot that aren't on display that we're still um, uncovering more information about these animals and the site see I think that's really neat that families and kids can actually speak with the people who go do this to really learn uh, as well as see these amazing creatures as well up close and personal why is it important for families and kids to have those conversations in those labs Right. Well, we really want um, families to see that full circle um, and the process that happens and to be able to talk with those people, like you said, is really important so they can, you know, maybe be sparked to continue that um, learning after their visit to the museum. I mean, the best thing for us would be that, again, that spark happens here and they come back again or they're, you know, doing things in school that maybe lead them to become a scientist themselves. It's not just paleontologists. We have geologists. Yeah. We have botanists. We have all kinds of of, of scientists and artists and educators and storytellers who created this entire exhibit. So we hope when they come, they can see something uh, of themselves in it. Could really make an impact on their lives. Absolutely. I have to quickly ask here, do you have a favorite part of the exhibit? <laughs> <laughs> I know you know, so I... I actually am not a fish person, and not that these are fish, but the, the, the transformative nature of what we've done with, the, with all of the areas, but with the Mesozoic is just incredible. I mean, there are, there's custom artwork that we uh, have commissioned to line the walls and the lighting to transform it, and these animals are just incredible. It, it, there really is nothing like standing next to these animals and imagining what it was like uh, when they were alive. Wonderful. We've run out of time, but quickly, when does this open for families so they can come by the Children's Museum? This opens March 19th, but you can get a sneak pre uh, preview on March 18th. If you go to our website and learn about the Jurassic Jubilee, the party we are going to throw is just going to be amazing. So definitely check that out uh, for kids of all ages. Uh, it's a family event on March 18th, Jurassic Jubilee, and uh, definitely go to childrensmuseum.org to learn more. Wonderful. Sounds like a lot of fun, Monica. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Great to talk with you. Of course. Now you can head to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis website for more info on the new Dinosphere exhibit. So there's much more still to come here at 9 o'clock. Stick with us. We'll be right back.